The first step in any finish is of course the preparation. I first glue off the shell. Next, I dampened and wiped the surface clean. This raised the grain and helped expose any imperfections that needed to be dealt with before applying the filler. The dampening also helps the filler flow into the pin nail holes. I found a nail that needed to be sunk a little deeper. When applying, I like a flexible putty knife to work the material into the imperfections. Apply pressure, working the putty in. I also filled the crack between the lid and the front rail. And also the side rail. I sanded the shelves with 220 grit paper on an orbital sander. I also mask off the wall support. The bare wood will have better adhesion when fastening the shelves to the wall. Several coats of wall and woodwork primer were sprayed. After drying for a day, the shelves were again sanded with 220 grit paper and I applied three coats of color. Be sure to check out my playlist on small shop spray painting at www.youtube.com ron3279. That's my YouTube channel at ron3279. For equal film build, it is also a good idea to cross hatch by spraying both horizontally on one coat and vertical on the next coat. In this case, I started out with a vertical pattern. Applying pinstripes with a bugler striper. First I assemble the bugler and set the guide to the distance from the edge I want the stripe to be. For these stripes I used regular off-the-shelf black enamel. Pull the plunger far enough out to allow room for the paint. You can use a straw to load the striper, however I prefer pouring from a cup. Replace the wheel assembly making sure it's lined up with the guide. I mask off the stop points on both ends. Note that I doll the adhesive on the tape by running it between my fingers. I have had masking tape pull off the paint when removing it. This cuts down on that possibility. Before starting your stripe, push the plunger into the cylinder until you see the paint start to seep out around the wheel. Note that I'm holding the striper pretty much horizontal to the work surface. This will give you better control. For the second line, I turn the shelf around so that I'm working from the most comfortable position. I am extremely right-handed. Mask off stop points for the small end stripe by placing your tape up against the edge of the long stripe. There isn't enough room to set up the guide, so I freehand these little stripes. Align by starting your wheel on the tape and pulling across. For more information on using the bugler striper, go to my video Pinstriping Woodwork using a bugler striper. And that's it. You make it a great day and thanks for watching.